Last fall, I got my giant loop antenna that contained 400 feet of wire to make 15 volts DC. With this, my RF to DC converter. Right here is how I did it. Giant induction loop antenna, RF to DC converter. One end of the loop antenna goes directly to ground. The other end of the loop antenna goes to the RF to DC converter and gets grounded there too. So not only do you have a voltage difference from here to here, you also have what the antenna picks up that makes energy. Now I used heavy thick 14 gauge wire to do this. And since it was such low current, I was thinking, why not build it out of thin enameled copper wire? Here's some 42 gauge enameled copper wire, 6,105 feet, $8.91. Here is some more magnetic wire, 46 gauge, 15,500 feet, $13 plus $2.60 shipping. I really do believe these cheap spools of wire could beat very expensive solar panels that cost thousands of dollars. I like to keep things very simple. To generate electricity, all you really need is a varying magnetic field and a piece of wire. Right here you can see my new idea. First thing, we're going to string up some thick fishing line to support everything. I tied the fishing line to the insulator with two figure eight knots. And leaving some slack, I brought the two ends of the fishing line down and tied figure eights onto them to support the cable down here. The fishing line supports the enameled copper wire. The enameled copper wire comes down and connects to the wire like this. I just twisted the ends of the enameled copper wire back around itself and the fishing line. So this way you can take the enameled copper wire and loop it around the antenna many many times, adding up to a mile of wire or more. And the 50 pound test fishing line is plenty enough to support this, so even if a bird lands on it, it should not break anything. And I'm also going to build steel towers that you just pound into the ground. As you just saw, you can get very long lengths of this wire very cheaply. This shows great potential to do a lot better than solar panels. This thing right here could make up to 50 volts. This circuit may look very complicated, but when you put it on paper, it's actually very simple. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy experimenting. For some reason, there is very little information online about these experiments.